Hello and welcome to the lecture on things to remember for intermediate to CSS. Let's do a quick recap of what we have seen in this section. We have seen that every tag that you write in HTML has a magical box which you can control in CSS. If you want to remember something in CSS, always remember that every element that you write on a web page has this magical box. So when you're designing a web page, always think in boxes. Think you have box. And how do you arrange all those boxes onto the HTML page? That's one of the key things that you have to remember when you design with CSS. For every box, you can have, you know, you can add borders, you can add margins, you can add paddings. Margins is between two boxes, padding is inside the box. Then you can change the size of the box. And also when you add margins, right, you add margins which add spaces between the two boxes. Padding, we have seen how to add space inside the box. You can also float the box left, right, and also you can decide not to float it. There are three types of positioning of the box that we have seen. We have seen fixed, which never change. You can choose any position on the web page. Then we have seen absolute. Absolute basically go back to the HTML and start from there. And then relative is relative to this immediate parent. Then we have seen how to display boxes, like how to display them in line one after the other, how to display a block and how to have inline block which had the width and the height. Okay, this is the three properties display in line will arrange all the elements side by side, block will arrange all the elements one after the other and display in line can be used to change the height and the width of the box which still remains in line. All right, so these are the things we have seen in this section. Make sure you understand all the things of how to move your boxes in CSS. All right, so that's all about in this lecture. I'll see you in the next one.